catch that. Alrighty, well hello there again. Here we are on Sunday, the 16th of May, 2021, at 8.41 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. Now that we have that out of the way, <laughs> our clouds of today parted and we have a very pretty 23% lit moon up there. And we are running two cameras once again. The Canon RA has the uh, wider field of view with a Tamron 28, no, with a Tamron, um, with a Tamron 70 to 200 lens. And over here on the Canon R camera, we have the uh, RF 800 lens. And tonight we're using the uh, 2X extender on there. Now, before we start in on this, I just wanted to share a few pictures of this morning on my usual rounds of uh, documenting the sky here from my backyard. And I think it was about uh, 10 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. And <laughs> there on my fence was a little teenager possum up there. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. And that little rascal, he sat there stock still, playing possum. <laughs> and for those that are unaware, possums are nocturnal, so they're not normally out during the daytime. But this little guy looked like he was a teenager, a youngster, and maybe he didn't know any better. I don't know. But I did get only a few feet away from him, and boy, he did not move. Mm -mm. Anyway, like I said, here we have a 23% moon over there. It's way high up in the western sky. And it's still quite light outside, so it's a... Light blue. Another plane. Probably heading over to Cleveland Airport, I guess. It's the direction he's going. Anyway, <laughs> so what I'm trying to do. There we go with the, some of the muck trail going over top of the moon. But anyway, I'd like to zoom in here a bit. And there we go. So we're at 1,600 times 5, and comes in pretty good there, and times 10. All right, so let's stroll around here. And see what's shaking. If anything. There's pot marks over there in the mare. Hmm. Our light beam area. And check out the top here. Oh my God. Critters roaming around my backyard. Can be concerning, I'll have to tell you that. Raccoons, groundhogs, possums, unusual squirrels and bunnies. <laughs> and I live in the city. My goodness. Alright, 
There we go. Anyway, that's a pretty good look at the moon tonight. I don't think we had any unusual flybys. Doggone it. I miss some. <laughs> I like the strange and weird and wild stuff that zips around up there. And it's been quite a while since we captured any. Now it's still way too bright outside for any planets or star watching. So I'll have to wait a bit and try once again. Yeah, so I let these run here for a bit till it gets darker out. Now, if you saw my video, the one right before this one, that night I was able to uh, actually film Mercury, which was so cool. It's the first time I've ever had a chance to uh, catch that planet. It's normally too low in my sky and the houses and trees block the way. And I mentioned in that video that Maybe we'll see more of it as time goes on, but that's not going to be the case. I checked the Sky Safari Pro app, and it looks like by Wednesday it's going to be on its downward orbit. So it'll be getting further and further away and dipping down into the houses and trees once again after the sun goes down. So hopefully you'll still have a chance to see it within the next couple days. If you're looking towards the uh, northwest sky, that's where it should be, but low on the horizon. I did check, but it was already blocked for me, so doggone it. There we go, on the wide field of view, I can finally see Castor and Pollux. They're off to the right of the crescent moon, and they're over in Gemini. Now Mars is down below the moon, but I can't see it on that other uh, camera, not yet. And there is a uh, star right to the like 11 o'clock position of the moon, real close to it. But I'll have to check the sky chart to find out what it is. All right, there's Pollux, and then there's Castor. Over to the right. I think the ancient Greeks used to call them the the twins. And that should be Mars, but I thought it'd come in bigger. Hmm. So that's gonna do it. Maybe I'll do a fast forward at the end. And maybe not. <laughs> you never know until I go inside. Anyway, it is now 9.23 p.m. up here. And I hope you're all doing well and have a great new start to your week here. Y'all take care. Bye now.